In this equation, we have AgNO3, silver nitrate, plus FeCl3, iron 3 chloride. Let's count the atoms up on both sides. We have one silver, and then NO3, that's called a nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion, and it appears here, and it stays together, and appears here again. So we can count this nitrate, this NO3, is just one thing. We have one iron and then three chlorines. On the product side, we have one Ag, and then NO3s, we have three of these nitrate ions. We have one iron and one chlorine. It looks like we could balance the chlorines first by putting a three in front of the AgCl. So we have one Cl times the three. That'd give us three chlorines. Those would be balanced. And then the three applies to everything. So we have one Ag times the three. Now we have three Ags. But that looks okay because I have one Ag here and three here. And then the nitrates, one nitrate and three here. So all I have to do is put a coefficient of three in front of the AgNO3, one times three. That balances the silvers. We have one nitrate times the three. That balances the nitrate and we're done. This equation is balanced. By counting the polyatomic ion, the nitrate is one thing because we have it here and again on this side. That greatly simplifies balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for silver nitrate plus iron three chloride. Thanks for watching.